Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about remote hosting your QuickBooks desktop. Before I can get into that, I want to be real clear. I'm talking about the Windows version of QuickBooks. I am not talking about the QuickBooks Online software. If you're not sure what the two are, that's the screen right here. To get here, you'll go quickbooks.intuit.com forward slash desktop. On the left is the desktop pricing, which is the Windows version of QuickBooks. And on the right is the QuickBooks Online pricing. These are not the same product, even if you host this one in the cloud. Now let me take you to the other tab I've got prepared for us. And it's the hosting providers that are authorized by Intuit. In order to host your QuickBooks in the cloud, in order to take your Windows version of QuickBooks and put it somewhere that you can access remotely from any computer, you need to have a computer that you're dialing into. Basically, that's what remote hosting is. There are a variety of providers that offer this service. They offer it for their own pricing, for their own rates, with their own terms and conditions. These companies do not work for Intuit. These companies are authorized by Intuit to host your QuickBooks in the cloud so you can log into it. I'm going to create a couple of videos, but this video is going to be for apps for rent. So I want to show you how it works and just give you a kind of a brief rundown of it. If it's useful for you, fantastic. And if it's not, no big deal. So I'm going to go to the apps for rent website. To get here, it's appsforrent.com. Um, actually, let me just take you back to the beginning. Appsformat.com and then QuickBooks Hosting. I ignore the buy now right here and I go to pricing. The reason I do that is because it is not one single price. There's a different price based on these different options. My jam is helping you understand QuickBooks. My jam is not recommending how many RAM or CPU or whatever else you might need. If you're not sure what you need here, talk to apps for rent, not me. So what I did is I reached out to apps for rent and I said, I, I want to make a video just to explain how this works. And they said, Hey, terrific. We'll set you up with a demo file. And I'm like, that's perfect. So I have no idea which version I'm using to demonstrate. I could ask, I don't really care. Really my objective with this video is just to show you how it works in case it is something that'd be useful for you. Um, if you look at the perimeter of my screen, you'll see that I'm on a Mac. It would be incredibly useful for me to have a way to access my Windows QuickBooks files without using my second computer or some other app to access them. So I might be a good candidate for remote hosting. If you have a situation where multiple people need to get into your QuickBooks desktop at the same time, you might be a good candidate for remote hosting. So let me take you to this. In a nutshell, the way that it works is that you need to remote desktop into the computer that is hosting your QuickBooks. Remote desktop is available by default on your Windows computer. I don't think it's available by default on my Mac. If it is, I couldn't find it. So what I did is I just went to the App Store. I looked up some sort of remote desktop. I found this one, Microsoft Remote Desktop, by a company called Work From Anywhere. It has almost 100,000 ratings. That, that's great. That tells me this will probably do the trick for me. So I, I installed the remote desktop and I've already logged into apps for rent once because I've logged into it once a little tiny preview of my desktop will appear here. If I had any other computers I was remoting into, I would see little tiles or pictures for them on this screen. I really don't. This is the only one I'm doing a demo for right now. So to access my QuickBooks desktop file located on the apps for rent computer, I'm just going to double click on apps for rent. It's going to think it's going to ask me for my credentials, which I don't have memorized. So it automatically puts everything into full screen for me. So even though I'm still on my Mac, I'm now working as if I was on my PC, but with the bigger, better screen. In the middle of my screen is my QuickBooks sample file. You will have access to whichever version of QuickBooks you need for your business, whichever version you ask them to set up for you, whichever version you've been using. In this example, we're using Enterprise Solutions, so I'm just going to double click on it. 
in advance of this recording, I loaded up a sample data file. It's not me being crafty. Um, down here it says open a sample file. I picked one of those. So I've got a sample service-based business. I'm going to select open. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to use QuickBooks Desktop. I have other videos for that. What I am going to do is just navigate a couple of things just so you can see how, how it works, how speedy it is. And you can kind of imagine, would this work for you, for your business? Right now, your QuickBooks lives on your computer. Does anybody else need to get to it? Do you ever need it when you're not in the office, but you have a smaller, less robust computer that could log into a more robust computer? Um, these are the solutions. So let's do a couple quick things. Um, things you might do, you might write checks. So we'll do this and we'll say $10 and uh, let's say advertising, save and close. Not too bad. Make it for this person. What do we do? We'll do two, uh, two designs, $55 each. We'll do save and close. Yeah, not too bad. Um, there are days that my Windows PC does not work this quickly. So that's it. I just wanted to show you remote hosting, QuickBooks desktop. This comes up a fair amount because sometimes I talk to people and I ask them if they're using QuickBooks online or QuickBooks desktop. And they say they're using QuickBooks desktop, but they log into a different computer to get to it. And that maybe that's QuickBooks online. No, it's, it's still QuickBooks desktop, just with a fancy path to get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out while I wrap up the video. If this has been helpful, that's super terrific. If there's anything that I can make a video for to help you understand something better, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can reach us through the comments down below. You can send an email or you can schedule a call. Thank you so much and have a great day.